It is a question that has plagued man for eternity. What is the secret to living a long life? The movie Cocoon said they found it by a fountain of youth in a pool. As Betsy Kling reports, for one Ohio woman, there's some truth to that. For the Brunswick High School swim team, this is what they train for all season. We're getting ready for our sectional tournament, which is the first meet of the state tournament. A time when every lap and every turn is fine-tuned, mechanics and mind in sync. But on this day, training stops for just a little bit to celebrate a remarkable achievement. This is truly like a once-in-a-lifetime experience that I don't think everyone or anyone can ever really get to witness or see. Years ago, another local swimmer made headlines. Okay, I'm Dorothy Wozniak. I'm 100 years old. A young girl growing up in a crowded house on Cleveland's west side, one of 10 children, Dorothy found in Lake Erie a quiet escape. My older sister, she used to take me down to the Edgewater Park with my little brother, and we were allowed to go in the water. There weren't any lessons at the time, so the other family would give me new lessons. By 12, she was swimming at Clark Recreation Center, competing and making a name for herself. We have pictures and she would tell us a lot about her, you know, being in the tournaments. Dorothy's talent took her to Great Britain and even earned her a spot on the U.S. Olympic team. And though her speed set records, the timing wasn't meant to be. World War II ended Olympic dreams for thousands of athletes. And the people of the United States fighting for survival. Even at 100, Dorothy is still sharp, but the disappointment has softened. <laughs> Winning was never the end goal for this Lake Erie made athlete. For Dorothy Wozniak, swimming was life. What I can remember, she would go swimming every day. Yeah, at least a yeah. mile a day. Yep. And that was into her early 90s. Well, I guess I was more relaxed in, you know, in the swimming pool. Now, life today is a little apartment at Danbury Senior Living in Brunswick. Pictures of family, late husband Richard, and medals hang on the wall. She is still active and on the go. <laughs> swimming may no longer be a part of her daily routine. Okay. Oh, that's a white line. <laughs> but her body hasn't forgotten. So to celebrate turning 100, Dorothy requested a lane at Brunswick's rec center, where a wide-eyed team of teens was more than happy to oblige. With team captains by her side, Dorothy made her way into the pool, ready to escape into the water again just to see the yes. joy on her face. And she really wanted to um, interact with the uh, high school students. Mm -hmm. She was in awe of them as they were in awe of her. And so that was just amazing to see. Swimming up and down and all four strokes. She did fly back breast and free, which is all four strokes. And she's like, I want to try everything. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's insane. A performance that wowed the crowd and ended fittingly with a medal ceremony. We wanted to present this to you to thank you for being such a great representative of our sport. Her being able to swim at 100, that was a gift to her. But Dorothy had her own gift to bestow, a lesson about longevity. No, I just proved that I could live to <laughs> It can only be enjoyed in a life well lived.